There is a need for a rigorously defined clean room method to transform proprietary laden dirty system into a proprietary free clean system, one devoid of reliance on proprietary information, copyrighted material, and trade secrets, and not considered a derived work. A defined software clean room method is needed to transform a software system or component based on proprietary information, copyrighted material, or trade secrets to a functionally equivalent clean software system or component devoid of any traces or reliance on the proprietary information, copyrighted material, or trade secrets. The proprietary system is termed the dirty system and the transform system, the clean project. The challenge is to insulate the clean system from the dirty system so that it will not be considered a derived work in form or function. What is the criteria for a legitimate clean room? A rigorous defined software clean room method employs both a Chinese wall and the clean room software engineering process. The method features a multi-dimensional Chinese wall, spanning defined protocols of separation for physical location, people, electronic infrastructure, and software development tools. The Chinese wall is composed of a clean environment, demonstrably uncontaminated by any proprietary information or knowledge of such, through a discipline of multi-dimensional separation. The clean environment begins with physical separation in a separate, undisclosed location. Separation extends to the people participating in both the dirty project and the clean project, including their training and organizational policy governing the rules of separation and no contact. Separation extends to the electronic infrastructure, including email and telephone access, and online document access. Separation extends to the software development tools employed, including text editors, programming language, uh, language compilers, test suites, configuration management tools, and parts number database management tools. The clean room software engineering process extends the discipline of multi-dimensional separation through separate teams for management, specification, development, and certification. Clean room software engineering entails the re-engineering of the dirty system, beginning with the production of a proprietary free handover specification and its review by a lawyer to assure uh, no proprietary information, copyrighted material, or trade secrets are included or relied upon. Clean room software engineering teams prepare proprietary free artifacts associated with functional specification, usage specification, incremental uh, increment planning, correctness verification, usage modeling, test planning, statistical testing, and certification. The specification handover procedure involving the specification handover specialist and the lawyer assured clean specification is shown here. No interaction is allowed between the dirty project and the clean project. As a practical matter, the specification handover specialist and the assurance lawyer are permitted adequate iteration in achieving a complete, correct, consistent, and clean handover specification. With the rigorous defined software clean room method specified, the question of whether a legitimate clean room was in operation can be addressed by confirming the equivalency of the intent and means employed, verifying the extent to which the defined protocols of separation were practiced, validating the process execution and outcome with respect to convincingly achieving the intended result of a proprietary free clean system and reporting findings and rationale of the investigation and recommendations of pass fail and legitimate not legitimate. 
With the rigorous defined software cleanroom method in place, it is possible to determine whether a legitimate cleanroom method has been operating. First, the adequacy of the terms of reference documentation and accompanying policies, procedures, instructions, and training activity confirm the equivalency of the intent and means employed. Second, the process steps for separation can be verified, including physical location, people, electronic infrastructure, and development tools, with respect to compliance. Third, the process of execution and outcomes can be validated with respect to clean results. Fourth, the findings and recommendations of legitimate or not legitimate are reported. Software cleanroom investigation process for intent and means employed involves assess the adequacy of the terms of reference documentation for transforming the proprietary system into a clean system. Assess the adequacy of all policies, procedures, instructions, and training associated with the protocols of separation for physical location, people, electronic infrastructure, and development tools. Confirm the intent and means of the cleanroom process used uh, is, is functionally equivalent to the rigorous defined software cleanroom method specified. The software cleanroom investigation process for physical-based verification involves separate and undisclosed location, entrance sign-in procedure in both dirty and clean projects, instructions for unauthorized access in both dirty and clean projects, unauthorized access verification and reporting in both dirty and clean projects, custodian instructions for paper waste shredding and disposal in both dirty and clean projects, custodian instructions for wiping black whiteboards clean in both dirty and clean projects. The software clean room investigation process for people-based verification involves participants in both dirty and clean projects. Participants not related dirty project cross product clean project. Training resources and courses in both dirty and clean projects. Training participants listed in both dirty and clean projects. Training conducted and participants listed in both dirty and clean projects. The software clean room investigation process for electronic based verification involves no email contact, a dirty project, cross product clean project, no telephone contact, dirty project, uh, cross product clean project, no internal mail contact. Dirty Project, Cross Product, Clean Project. No online document access outside of clean project infrastructure. The software clean room investigation process for tool-based verification involves a software development lifecycle tool separation, including text editors, programming language, language compilers, test suites, configuration management tools, and parts number database management tools. It is preferable to employ uh, a different programming language. The software cleanroom investigation process for process-based validation involves identify proprietary information, harvest keywords and tags from the proprietary information, copyrighted materials, and trade secrets. Re-engineer the dirty system and write a handover specification. Have a lawyer review uh, and assure the handover specification. The software cleanroom investigation process for cleanroom software engineering team validation involves Implement the handover specification with full separation. 
um, creating functional specifications as block structures, usage specifications as nodes and annotated arcs, incremental planning, correctness verification, usage modeling, test planning, statistical testing, and certification. The software cleanroom investigation process for outcome-based validation involves harvest keywords and tags from the clean system, specifications, code, and documents. Determine and tabulate the degree of correspondence between the keywords and tags from the clean system and the, har and the harvested keywords and tags from proprietary information, copyrighted material, and trade secrets. For each incident, incidence of correspondence, assess whether it appears intentional or even systematic, or simply inadvertent. Does the keyword and tag correspondence suggest a derivative work? <clears throat> assess the verification results and degree of process compliance for physical, people, electronic infrastructure, and development tools. Combining the keyword and tag degree of correspondence and the degree of process compliance, has a legitimate software cleanroom process been faithfully carried out? The results of the software cleanroom investigation process is a findings report with supporting rationale and a recommendation report designating pass-fail on the question of whether a legitimate cleanroom process was employed. The findings report is composed of degree of organization statement of intent and organization means employed, correspondence confirmation. The degree of organization cleanroom method and defined cleanroom method specification correspondence confirmation. The degree of separation protocol verification. The degree of organization clean room software engineering process execution and outcomes validation. The recommendation report simply asserts pass for legitimate, fail for not legitimate. Let's recap the elements of the defined software clean room method. And let's do it in a precise, concise, and rigorous manner. We'll briefly touch on organization software cleanroom statement of intent and means, define software cleanroom method specification, define software cleanroom method process. The organization software cleanroom statement of intent and means, organization statement of intent. Is a, is a function of the terms of reference, vision, purpose, goal, and objectives. The organization means is a function of organization separation protocols, organization clean room software engineering process, where organization means uh, equals the organization clean room method. Legitimate clean room is a function of confirmation, verification, and validation. The defined software cleanroom method specification. <clears throat> defined cleanroom method specification is a function of Chinese wall and cleanroom software engineering process. The Chinese wall is a function of physical location, people, electronic infrastructure, development tools. Clean room software engineering reference model is a function of management, specification, development, and certification, where clean room software engineering process uh, equals the functional specification, the usage specification, the increment planning, correctness verification, usage modeling, test planning, statistical testing, and certification. The defined software clean room method process is shown here. 
if the organization clean room method used uh, equals the organization statement of intent, and the organization clean room method used uh, is equal to the defined software clean room method specification, then the verification of organization separation protocols applied, uh, which include physical location, people, electronic infrastructure, and development tools, um, is exercised. And validation of organization, clean room, software engineering process, execution, and outcomes is exercised. <clears throat> A findings report uh, includes the degree of organization statement of intent and organization means employed correspondence confirmation. The degree of organization clean room method and defined clean room method specification correspondence or correspondence confirmation. The degree of separation protocol verification. The degree of organization clean room software engineering process execution and the outcomes validation. Recommendation report uh, includes pass if it's legitimate and fail if it's not legitimate. <clears throat> If it doesn't go through that path, it finishes up with findings report, fail, that is organization clean room method used not equal to the defined clean room method specification. And the recommendation report in that case would be, uh, uh, would be fail, not legitimate. Here is my contact information. I would be happy to receive questions and have discussions with people on this important subject.